What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and David Luiz is going to Arsenal. Now if you told me that two days ago I wouldn't have even believed the word that you're saying but it's deadline day, deadline day is bare mad and it's happening right now. David Luiz is going to Arsenal. Chelsea have agreed an £8 million deal with Arsenal for the defender with David Luiz already at North London right now doing his medical. And yeah, it's come out of nowhere. I mean, he recently signed a new contract in I think May until 2021. But after an alleged fallout with Frank Lampard, Lampard apparently only sees him as his fourth choice centre-back for the season with Lampard preferring to focus on the youth. Again, kind of understand that. That's the whole purpose of this. That's what Frank Lampard's been brought in here to do. It's a slow process. It takes time. Personally, I'm fine with it. I thought in the long term, David Luiz was going to have to go anyway. I get that he is a good defender, but as much as he is a good defender and as much as he is one of the best ball playing centre backs in the world he's also suspect as in defence and there's been so many times not just last season but seasons past as well held back to his even first spell back to even his first spell at Chelsea he always seems to get caught sleeping always seems to be dragged out of position always seems to just get caught out once or twice per game and sometimes that's just enough for the team for the opposition to counter attack us and score but like I said he's one, he is one of the best ball playing centre backs in the world he has done a lot for us. Munich 2012 speaks for itself. 16-17, possibly his only world-class season for us when he came back from PSG and he fucking banged it under Conte. But what happened under Conte? Conte fell out with him as well and it turned into a Conte versus Luiz thing. And I think now it's turning into a Luiz v Lampard thing. And we know that if it's going to be David Luiz and Frank Lampard, there is only going to be one winner. And I'm fine with it. He's 32 years old. He hasn't got a lot more years left in, at the top level. And personally as well, I don't really like the fact that he isn't looking to fight for his place. I mean, I get that you're fourth choice centre-back. I get that you're 32 years old. I, I get that there's not really a lot left for you at the top level. But if you've been at Chelsea for seven seasons and you love the club as much as you say that you do, why are you leaving so early? Why are you leaving without a fight? I mean, I look back at legends like John Terry, legends like Frank Lampard. And they went down with a fight. They tried to push for more game time. And I don't see why David Luiz can't do the same thing. Maybe you're fourth choice centre-back. I get that. Who knows where you could be in December? I mean, you look at the defenders we have right now, none of them have really staked their claim and none of them can really hold down a position and say that it's theirs. All of it's up to grabs, but the fact that he wants to go straight away, in my opinion, just speaks for itself. And it's disappointing, really. It's so disappointing because you, if you look past all of the suspect movements from him, there's a good defender there and there's a great character as well in the dressing room. And there's a player that's done a lot for the club, but... You know what? I guess he wants to go to Arsenal and I don't really understand going to Arsenal even in itself. If you're at the top level, why are you going downwards? I mean, Arsenal have signed Pepe and everything, but they're still beneath us. They ain't winning anything. We beat them 4-1 in their biggest game the last decade and we were embarrassed to even be involved in the competition. Like, I don't know why you want to go to a club with that sort of mentality, but if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Not really going to lose a lot of sleep over David Luiz going, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good move or do you think this is a bad move? move for Chelsea? How do you think he's going to fare off at Arsenal? Do you think he's going to be banging next to Socrates or just shit in the bed next to Mustafi? You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in a couple days for my preview for Manchester United versus Chelsea and then the season starts and it's probably going to be the most interesting season we've had in years. Let's see what happens. Up the Chelsea.